Hello once again guys, I hope we're all good because we're now going to go through the top 10 bargain right backs in FIFA 16 career mode. If you'd like to see a quick list of who's there, check the description. Anyway, on with the list. Kicking off this countdown is a man with a lot of pace, Mikel Masidu. If you love your wingbacks as pacey as a barbo, Mikel is definitely the purchase for you. With a sprinting speed of 92 and costing you less than 5 million, you can understand why this 75 rated player features in our top 10. 25,000 a week and 80 potential, snap him out quick. Number 9 is Callum Chambers. Employed over at Arsenal, Callum is a good young English right back that would suit pretty much any team in the game. With a high potential of 82 and costing just 2.1 million, you can see why this guy is within the bargain bracket. He's unlikely to get ahead of Bellerin, so snap up Callum as your new first choice. Eighth in the list is another faceless man, Alame Torre. We all know not having a face can be a problem, but Torre doesn't let it get him down. Instead, he aims high, specifically for the 81 rating height, costing you just 2.2 million and 7,000 a week. Torre is another hidden gem you should dust off and purchase for your club. In at seven, it's a German, Lukas Klostermann. The Austrian league player is currently going at a ridiculous price of 1.7 million and 5,000 a week. With that ridiculous pace and 80 potential, Klostermann should definitely be part of your immediate future at your new career mode club. And just look at that face, bless him. In the sixth position, we have a youngster from Ajax, Kenny Tete. Although 8 million might seem like a lot for a bargain, Tete is most certainly worth every penny. Already a 76 rated player with very solid looking stats for a defender with a potential of 83 and above and on reasonable wages of only 25,000 a week, start planning your defence around this guy. Halfway through and we come to another Dutch player, Kevin Dix. Another ridiculous bargain for your transfer budget. It'll cost you just 2.1 million to nick Kevin from his current club, Vitesse. And being on wages of just 4,000 a week, it will feel like you're not even paying him. With a potential of 80 plus, Dix should be considered. Ivan Lopez is in the fourth position. Due to grow past the 83 mark in seasons to come and currently valued at just 5.5 million, Lopez is another ridiculous bargain you're now aware of. Starting off as a 74 rated right back and on just 25,000 a week, Ivan is another headache of a choice you've now got to decide upon. Coming in at third is Timothy Costage. Timothy is 19 years old and currently plays for KRC Genk for just 10,000 a week with a glowing potential of 82 over the course of the career mode and costing you just 2 million. I can't help but wonder how you haven't already gone out and bought him yet. Well now you know. And in the second position is our second Englishman in this countdown. My personal choice of the 10, Dominic Iorfa. Playing for Wolves at 69 rated, <laughs> Dominic's price tag really doesn't sum up how incredible this guy is in game. With undeniable pace, a potential rating of 81 and above, and costing just 2.1 million and 5,000 a week, I can't recommend this guy enough. But the best right back bargain in FIFA 16 career mode is, it's a hell of a shocker, it's Dargio Serrana playing for Shakhtar. Quite a surprise for the first position, but let me explain why. For 8 million and 35,000 a week, you're getting a player who is 81 rated. If we compare him with someone around the same age, Sagna of Manchester City, both cost the same. However, Sagna is 79 rated and on wages of 70,000 a week. Ridiculous, right? I know he's set to deteriorate, but as long as Serrana plays a lot, he will stay at that peak for at least the first season. And another countdown bites the dust. Quite a shocking ending to this one, but I'm sure you can understand as to why he got the first place. It certainly doesn't mean you have to buy him. As I said, Dominic Iorfa is my choice of right back. Anyway, I've been Brace for Impact, and thanks for watching.